Good evening, and welcome back to the Refreshing Point. I will be sharing with you the health benefits of the fern plant. Ferns are some of the most beautiful plants in the woods, but they can also grow well in your garden, and even in your home. In fact, ferns are very popular houseplants, and the Boston fern is one that offers beauty and health benefits. There are multiple species of ferns, and all have different medicinal uses. They were used by the medieval Europeans and the Native American Indians for their medicinal benefits. Including a recently published study indicates that the royal fern has shown to be effective in treating head and neck cancers. This evergreen plant not only helps to rid the home of harmful toxins, it improves humidity by helping to restore moisture to the air naturally too. Because of these air purifying properties, the Boston fern is said to offer real health benefits to those who suffer from dry skin or irritably dry noses or throats. Folk medicine stories collected in various books suggest that the fern was used across Europe. A skeleton of a male aged between 21 and 30 years found buried in the medieval necropolis, has shown the first physical evidence that a fern plant could have been used for medicinal purposes in cases such as alopecia, dandruff, and kidney stones. The ferns have been used by herbalists and other healers for centuries across Europe. Records indicate that a liquid infusion was made by pouring water onto fresh or dried fern leaves and sometimes the concoction was flavored with orange flowers or sweetened sugar or honey. The Iroquoians, as well as the Cherokees, used the many available species of ferns for medicinal benefits. The Cherokee used maidenhair for rheumatism. A decoction of the root was applied with warm hands as an external rub. Infusion or decoction of the whole plant was used for fevers with chills. The Cherokee considered maidenhair a powerful medicine for the heart. Other Native American tribes used fern to purify the blood for stomach troubles, shortness of breath, and to produce strength and endurance. The fern plant was used topically by Native Americans as a poultice or wash for bleeding, insect stings, snake bites, arthritis, and for hair. A new study published in BMC Contemporary and Alternative Medicine revealed that royal fern may be a safe, natural, and effective way to inhibit the growth of head and neck squamous cell carcinoma. To reach this conclusion, researchers analyzed several mechanisms of royal fern. Results showed the royal fern extract had a significant inhibiting effect on the growth of head and neck cancer. Further, researchers noted that the plant triggered apoptosis in the cell lines. These effects were believed to be caused by the synergistic qualities of the different compounds found in royal fern. In addition, the fiddleheads of the ostrich fern are reliably safe to eat. They are the curled young fronds of a fern, which are high in nutrients and are considered a spring delicacy. Fiddleheads are high in vitamins A and C, omega-3 and 6 essential fatty acids, and fiber. They are only available at the beginning of spring. They are considered a delicacy around the world, from North America to Asia. As already mentioned, there are many species of ferns. They each have their own specific medicinal uses. I have shared a link to a great website listing all the different species that the Native American Indians used. I hope that you have found this video useful and informative. Also, please share it with others. Thank you so much for watching. Good day and good health.